Today at AT Infla, we will showcase to you 3D construction technology. Behind me is a 3D construction model being set up by Ajax Engineering. We will talk to their experts who will outline to us the benefits of 3D construction and how this technology has the potential to address the housing demands in the country. So today we are joined by uh, Dr. Malika Arjun. Now he is somebody who specializes in 3D construction and he works for the R&D department of Ajax Engineering. So Dr. Malika Arjun, really appreciate you, you know, joining us out here at AT Infra. Yeah. Now, if you could you know, elaborate a little bit as to what is happening behind us. Sure. So here, what you see here is a 3D concrete printer. And uh, this machine, what uh, you see here is uh, indigenously designed by our design team. And uh, this technology itself is a very uh, new technology wherein we are uh, uh, replacing the conventional type of construction here. So you can see the machine is uh, laying the concrete layers one over the other. The entire layout of the uh, project will be fed into the system and the machine just prints on top of the other and the entire uh, structure is built. Yeah. Uh, if you could talk about a little about the materials being used. I understand that this is a special kind of concrete that you use uh, with sort of you know much more better adhesive quality so yes. if you could you know share yeah that. so uh, in terms of the mix what we see here is a specialized mix we are adding uh, lots of additives so that we need to have that complexity right and we are adding some fibers and then cementitious materials and other stuff so that uh, the complexity of this uh, mix is such that when it comes out of the pump it has to be in a semi-fluid right. state and when it comes out of the extruder it has to retain that shape as well so that is the complexity in the material science behind this 3D printing uh, material and uh, for the reinforcement part of it, yeah, so uh, you can see the cavity in between the walls here. So we are inserting the reinforcement bars and then the concrete is being infilled into that. And also in terms of, you know, the use cases, uh, mm -hmm. some of the projects in India in the past have taken up 3D printing. So what is the potential of this sort of uh, technology in terms of the, the construction industry in the country? Yeah, so here uh, as this technology is very unique and as well as novel technology, so we are at par with the Western countries and uh, the techno the ongoing research is there uh, for the mix, for the machine and as well as the process technology part of it. So the ongoing research is there and then we are uh, constantly exploring the different types of application where this can be used as well. So right now we are uh, aiming at uh, mass housing, row housing, and then uh, maybe G plus two structures, some residential structures, some villas, some cottages. And so we are looking for the different applications as well. Right. Uh, yeah. So one of my last questions is very important yeah, sure. one. Uh, you talked about mass housing. Now yes. India as a country you know, has a lot of requirement of mass housing and affordable prices. Exactly. So how does you know, uh, 3D construction, how will it come about and address that particular issue, the need of ours in terms of mass housing in an affordable price? Yes. So, uh, as this 3D concrete printing technology is considered, as you see when, uh, when we consider the affordable housing in terms of row housing, right? you have got the same layout as well for different uh, dwellings. So, what you do is you install the printer at one uh, position and then you go on replicating the same. So, the construction time which is uh, being taken for the conventional, it can be brought down drastically using this one. And the same can be used for uh, different types of uh, housings as well. Right. So, and this is very well promoted by the governments as well. And we need to uh, have that promotion of this technology in all the institutes, to the contractors, to all the stakeholders who are into this uh, business. Right. So, you yeah. also have benefit in terms of uh, lower uh, labor uh, activity, right? Exactly. In yeah. terms of, I mean, that also comes down, that's also yeah. a benefit. So, uh, Dr. Malika Arjun, really appreciate you, you know, taking your time out and you're sort of introduce, introducing us to 3D construction. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. To get a balanced and nuanced perspective on the potential of 3D construction in India, ET Infra reached out to industry expert Chaitanya Seth who shared his views with us. This is a pretty young concept, definitely a recipe of disruption in the industry because it brings a lot of innovation and technology. Um, if I talk about Probably the size of the industry globally, some reports talk about maybe around today, it may be around 15 odd billion dollar. And it's expected to grow at a 30 to 50% CAGR. 
some of the countries across the globe have picked up a lot of pace in this space. India, if you ask me, probably we heard about the, the first post office, right? Done by Renty uh, a couple of years back. Uh, record time, right? Record time, good cost. And uh, uh, so we clearly see that the, the initial seeds are being sown. So if you look at what are the potential use cases, one is obviously if you look at a lot of public infrastructure and government projects, be it public toilets, be it sanitation units, be it bus stops, uh, even police check posts or security booths. Even if you look at a lot of uh, disaster relief or temporary uh, housing, right, which which you talk about refugee camps and uh, maybe even what probably from a PMAY perspective, a low cost or rural housing. So may, where you can actually look at a more like a social housing or a rural housing project or maybe prefabricated housing modules, I think that's another area. Another use case probably we can also think is around the military and defense applications. I think like bunkers, barracks, checkpoints, um, some basic air base and naval infrastructure. And I think that's the way I would say that, uh, uh, or if there are smaller factory offices which you can kind of look at, I think those are the areas which probably makes a lot of sense. I have seen, I have even read the fact that um, in some countries, uh, they also started using it for the uh, horizontal infrastructure, like roads, bridges, highways. So that's again a use case uh, which, which uh, potentially can be up for grabs. Even today, we don't have, uh, we lack the standardized building codes for 3D printing in India. Uh, it's still evolving. Uh, and that's the reason probably you also find that a lot of contractors and developers not embrace it completely because uh, uh, it's, it's still at a very nascent stage. So a lot of regulations, a lot of IS codes, all that is yet to be kind of uh, deployed and developed for uh, from a 3D perspective. So first, I think before I jump into that, I think let's understand what probably the pluses of this comes and what is that goes into it, right? So A, we talked about a faster pace of construction. What used to probably take months, probably can happen in days. In some cases, we are talking about hours also now. So that's that's one. Second, I think, given it's a zero wastage, uh, so my consumption of materials comes by one third. So 30% material saving there, right? Uh, number of direct labor required, that also comes down significantly. So um, so that, that's again a, 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 a big shift. But if you look at the materials which are required, right, uh, 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 there are some of them will require a specialized concrete because from a flowability perspective, uh, from a, uh, uh, you have to get a quick strength, fast strength from perspective, that will require a difference. So they are also very, um, they are also kind of looking at a lot of recyclable materials. So looking from a soil or maybe biodegradable waste, um, uh, maybe fly ash, silica, all those are also kind of, kind of getting in there. Even they are also using plastics and resins also, fiber. So I think there is a lot of uh, usage coming in there, right? So uh, by definition, it should give you far more strength. But if you look at the perception today, even if I talk to some of the developers, some of the, the end consumers, uh, the perception still need would need that change. Because if you look at it, the behavior can be still anisotropic. Because we are not certain... Uh, because if you look at it, uh, the good part is all get can be curvy linear shapes. Uh, taking a exact 90 degrees might be a challenge while there are changes happening around that. Uh, uh, and, and isotropic behavior can also kind of uh, stretch in. Uh, uh, the ductility can also get challenged from that perspective. But from a code perspective of strength, by definition, if you're using a high grade concrete there, um, uh, and adding more fiber uh, uh, con uh, material to that, I think that is only going to put in more and more strength. To be honest, I think since the, the deployment is not far spread, it is too early for us to comment in terms of how strong it would be from a quality or durability perspective. But by definition, I would say layer by layer, using that, the strength is there. If you look at it, the, the strength is there. Because today, even if you look at, let's say, finished product, right? Uh, I still have to kind of work towards electrical and plumbing. I still have to work around finishing. So those gaps would still continue to exist there. 
so if we take out the limitation of a high rise where this is yet to be proven even globally for that matter uh, in india if you talk about maharashtra mumbai pune we're talking about let's say pune in this case maybe right or there uh, the the growth is vertical so i i i i see a challenge in terms of usage by developers at this point in time doing that but if you look at villas if you look at um, row houses if you look at tier 2 tier 3 cities where uh, you're talking about housing for all where they will not be very high rise structure g plus 2 maybe g plus 3 the usage of 3d construction printing can have a a, a definite use case